welcome back to my channel it has been so long and i am so sorry i haven't really been traveling i traveled a little bit this summer but i wasn't vlogging because i just wasn't feeling it but i'm back and i'm back with the uh, exclusive african edition for the next few months i'm gonna try to visit almost all of the cities in my country i am currently in wila Lubangu. It's gonna be an exciting couple of days. We're just here for the weekend and yeah, stay tuned for more Guys, so we have arrived at the hotel currently checking in we're staying at this hotel called Serra da Shellas. My friend Whitney Say hello Hi. <laughs> We are in Vila Lubangu. Welcome yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is the room. I have a little desk. I actually have to study, so. Here's our bathroom. Super cute. While I get ready, I decided to, you know, catch up with you guys a little bit, cause I know it's been a while. I'm about to just rinse my face and then do my little skincare prep for the makeup. So, let's catch up. So what have I been up to? Since I finished one internship, it was pretty educational. I learned a lot. Now I'm actually still living in Angola, still doing my gap year. If you guys also noticed, I took some time off though, social media and everything. I went to some places this summer. I went to Saint Tropez and some places, but I could have vlogged, but I just didn't really feel like vlogging. It was a very good time. Hung out with friends, family, and significant others. <laughs> I came back from Portugal and I got a job offering at my sister's nonprofit association on mental health out here in Angola. So basically, I'm now working on digital marketing and building their platform just like how we're building right now you know i went to work today and then i ran home actually i went to the hair salon got my hair done and then i came and now we're here in wheela and that's basically it wow i actually thought i had a lot more to catch y'all up in but now let's contour this face i'm just gonna finish up my makeup and i'll see you guys when i'm ready so guys, I'm ready, and they're at the door waiting for me. Hi. Oh, <laughs> wow! We're going to this restaurant called VIP. They they apparently have the best pasta. So, fun fact: since we're going to go eat, guys, we caught up, and I forgot to tell you guys, I am no longer vegan. It's Friday, the 29th, which you know what that means. If you know me, then you know what that means. If you don't, I guess follow me on Instagram to find out. So this is a new drink called Tea Tonic because this is a gin tonic with the rosé gin. But they didn't have the berries. They didn't have the berries to put in the drink. So they put lemons and you add the little tea bag. So yeah, inventions only in Lubangu. <laughs> Basically, I just tried this sausage and they make it here by hand. Two hours later and <laughs> lots of good conversation. You guys actually missed it. Oh, by the way, this is Michael. He's content creator for um, Whitney. By the way, this girl is famous. So <laughs> go ahead and follow her on Instagram like I showed you guys earlier. Happily making it back guys. Um, I'm back in my room. I just showered basically I'm about to go to sleep and then tomorrow we have a really 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 early day like I was saying. We're going to Gambush, another part of Wheela. My friend Whitney, she has a she's a part of a non-profit basically. They made a hole for water for the community. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good morning guys. It's a new day. As you see my bed is slept in. But yes, let me show you my beautiful view and I'll see you guys downstairs very soon. Guys, we have arrived. Guys, so basically they're having a meeting about the well. 
basically I just got the the background story to where all of this started and I'm about to tell you guys because she told me in Portuguese. So basically the community in this area, this um this municipio they have to walk um miles and miles just to get water basically because they don't have any access to clean water and where they have to walk to they can only get five liters of water uh, per day and she said the first time that they came to this community they found 20 kids um, that were malnutrition basically because of the lack of access to water this is the driest um, basically city in all of Angola, Gambush, um, Wila, and so that's why they basically suffer with this. But now with the water, with the well, basically that they're building, it's gonna be a lot easier for them to access water, not just for them to drink, but also to wash their clothes and to shower with. And yeah, that's basically the point. And this is actually an amazing, an amazing thing. I'm so grateful to be here and see this. Guys, we're about to get back on the road and go back to Lubangu. But basically, this is an amazing project. And if they have a link to donate, I'm gonna ask her and I'm gonna link it down below in the subscription because everybody should donate. Let's provide this community with a school, with a hospital, as they were talking about it. And basically, that's all they need. Guys, let's get at their houses. guys on to the next this is the last social activity we're gonna do here today we are visiting a man's house that is in very poor condition so they're trying to see how they can help to help restore their home and make sure that it doesn't collapse so we're basically going in to see So this is basically their living room area and it's four of them. That's the little boy. This is the bedroom. And all four of them sleep in the years. If we're being honest guys, this is the reality of a lot of people here in Angola. Not just in Lubangu, much all over. The conditions are not very good. We're trying to find a way to help everybody. Right? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And she's starting in her home. It's yeah. just Lubango. So guys, basically each door, so this is one, two, three, four, which is the house that I just showed you guys. They're still in there. And five are all separate houses. As you guys saw, the first room was the living room area and then the other room was the bedroom for four people. And then this is basically their bathroom. This is where they shower in this little corner and then they have a hole where they use the bathroom basically. Guys, so this is where we're eating lunch today. They're telling me that I have to try crocodile meat, but I don't know if that's happening. So guys, I'm about to try something new. I don't know what it is. She says she's gonna tell me after I eat it, so here we go. It's fried funj and some of y'all might know funj as fufu and it's only a Lubangu tradition you know, food so when you come to Lubangu you gotta come and try this Como está? Funj frito Ah, just ask for funj frito and they'll give you the sanitaki for you so guys, this is kisangwa. It's basically um, flower juice, corn flower juice. Traditional drink from here in Angola. I've actually drank this before when I was younger because my mom used to bring it from Wambu because that's where my family's from. My grandma used to make it too and uh, I didn't like it, but maybe, you know, I was like really young. So let's see. Hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't I like it when I was younger? I don't understand why I didn't like it when I was younger, but it's really good. It's actually really, really good. So that's Kalulu with um, beans of palm oil. 
This is very weird. Translating all of these dishes in English is actually like the weirdest thing I've ever done. <laughs> so let's try the best meat of Angola. So this is goat meat. This is beef. And this is pork. So guys, this is um sumo de mukwa, which is mukwa juice. Some people know this tree as baoba, but it's a very old tree from Africa. And the tree grows mukwa. Mukwa is the fruit, and this is the juice and it's really good so guys here we are still at the resort of the restaurant we ate at which is kimbu oh okay and there's a whole bunch of little animals they have like a bird cage of different birdies over there you hear them whoa whoa it's an alligator see you later alligator <laughs> Uh, uh oh <laughs> no. guys look at the crocodiles the other one were baby ones these ones are gigantic and if they jump i'm pretty sure they can jump this 